five altcoins that could 5 to 10x in 2022. So in this video, I'm simply just going to go over some altcoins that I hold that I think has some promise to make some good gains this year. But before we get into it, please drop a like and subscribe for more videos like this. All right, so first up on this list is Cake Token. Now, I've spoken about Cake Token in the last video. It's basically the native token that is used on PancakeSwap, which is the largest decentralized exchange in the world, which may surprise some people. It's not actually Uniswap, but in terms of number of retail users, PancakeSwap holds the lead. And this token is pretty much used on everything and saw a huge freaking correction since 45 bucks at its peak. And uh, now it's at $8. Like in my last video, I said that I deployed capital into Cake Token under $6. You know, it's been like two weeks and it's above $8 now. Uh, one great aspect of Cake Token is the fact that you can stake it and get a huge APY from it. So like this is one of my wallets that I hold Cake Token. In fact, the last wallet I showed, um, you know, it was making about like $50 a day. And now it's making $76 a day passively. I don't have to do anything. I'm just holding it. And I own a few of these wallets and I'm looking to make over $1,000 a day passively from Cake Token and just holding it. Pretty freaking good, right? But in terms of like where I think it can go, I did say on Twitter that I thought a 5X pretty much in the bag, you know, like I think a, a 5X from under $6 was in the bag. If I'm being more bold, I definitely think $50 plus will be achieved. That's what I have in my mind when, you know, we get to like the end of the bull run. The way the tokenomics are set up, the way it's used, the way it has a use case utility, um, you know, I'm pretty bullish on cake token you know when i first looked into cake token there was a bunch of youtubers in fact the only people the only youtubers that were talking about cake token were just a bunch of whiny crybabies because they got in at a suboptimal time there's so many people like that a project hasn't changed at all fundamentally yet because the price changed and they've lost money suddenly they've changed their mind about the project and the token and suddenly it becomes you know, I call this the whiny crybaby index. You know, if there's a load of whiny crybabies talking about a coin, then it's probably the bottom of the market. And lo and behold, it was. And there was just so many of them. I just thought, man, if there's this, if the whiny crybaby index is this high, this has to be the freaking bottom. <laughs> Even looking at like market cipher on the daily chart, like it's looking so freaking bullish. Um, in fact, this setup here, this long setup, is nowhere near as good as the long setup we have here. There's just way more anchor and trigger waves down here and upside, and we're just starting to see a curve upwards. So yeah, I'm holding my cake token. So next up is basic attention token. Now basic attention token has been a project that I've really been bullish on, and it really hasn't seen its best days yet. In fact, there hasn't really been much going on with basic attention token, but I think this is one of those sleeper projects where, you know, near the end of the bull run is when it's actually going to get out like a 10x pretty reliably. You know, it's just such a solid project and the use case is there. It really is quite genius the way that they've monetized users of the browser to get paid in basic attention token, as well as content creators and advertisers are happy to have a crypto audience that they can advertise to. Like it's a, it's a triangle that works out. It's a love triangle that, you know, has a happy ending. I believe basic attention token will hit um, $10 plus. Yeah. Uh, so next up on this list is Solana. So Solana has, you know, I've been, you know, raving about Solana way back in the day before like the first hype train even started on YouTube and Twitter. When it was around like 30 bucks, you know, I was saying get into Solana. I, I think it's a, a wise move. And um, yeah, it is. That being said, Solana has a huge market cap as of now. Um, Solana has caught the attention of a lot of people and now people associate it with the next in line to Ethereum in terms of a smart contract competitor. Solana has recently had quite a bit of bad press when it comes to some of the problems they have on their network, some maintenance and temporary unavailability. And every time that happens, people just like crash the price down every time. Uh, because of like that bad press and, you know, recent bearish trends, you know, it's on quite a bit of a discount in my opinion, you know, slightly under a hundred bucks. Its peak was over 250 bucks. I think that 400, $500 is easily achievable, but in reality, I think it would be a lot more. Uh, that being said, the market cap is quite high. So, you know, 
it could just be a 5x. Next up on this list is Boss Token. Now, I'm the developer of Boss Token, and, you know, I'm the guy that is uh, working on this called Boss Track, which is a DeFi profit and loss tracker that uses the token as an actual utility to track the PNL of your DeFi wallets on BSC and Ethereum network. Holding the token actually gives you benefits. It removes ads from the platform. Um, you know, it gives you a, a detailed breakdown of your PNL percentages on each of your coins and so on and so forth. So there's actual freaking utility to this token and it's only under a $3 million market cap. I already own over 10% of this. So, you know, I can't really buy any more, but like, the hype from launch has died. A lot of people got wrecked, you know, buying uh, these supposed dips. And now we're in this kind of like dead phase. There's not much room to go down, but a lot of room to go up. In fact, um, during our peak at a $25 million market cap, that's a 10X from here. And that's just hitting the same all time high that we had before, which is quite typical to, you know, nano caps. Um, most nano caps have charts like this right now. The way the tokenomics are set up, automatic liquidity pool that is being added in each transaction. 5% gets added to the liquidity pool, so it gets harder and harder to dump the price as time goes on and trades are made. I mean, if you want to know more, go to bosstoken.com or bosstrack.com and yeah, you get to see what is going on. But, you know, full disclosure, I own the freaking project. <laughs> like, I have over 10% of the tokens. So, yeah. So, Engine is a project that I'm quite bullish on. I think this is going to be one of these coins that actually does well near the end of the bull run. You know, we got a coin that, you know, had its peak at slightly under $5 and is now $1.8. If you look on Market Cipher, you know, there's a really bullish case to be made looking at the way the chart is set up. The situation that we have looks kind of similar to here and look what happened. It went from $1 to $5 here. As you can see, if you look at market cipher B, it's kind of a similar setup to what we have now. So I believe that, you know, there's a 5X and engine coin and probably more at the end of the bull run. And in terms of like crypto gaming, this really is a good project that is piggybacking off the growing trend of gaming companies developing crypto into their games and having tokens integrated as part of. In the terms of like the gaming coins, I think engine coin is probably like the most sure bet. Um, so yeah, I still have like a few hundred K into engine coin and you know, I'm looking forward to this, uh, actually doing some decent returns this year. But like always, this isn't financial advice. You could get wrecked. You could make money. I don't know. Do what you want, but this is just my thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe for more videos like this.